The UB Bulls football season starts on Friday. Coming up on UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold from here at the Stern Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort, we'll sit down with Coach and get a preview of the Albany Great Danes, plus the latest on the quarterback situation. You'll meet the hometown kid who is leading the way on the defensive line, and we'll run down an exciting home schedule at UB Stadium. It's UB Football Insider, and it starts right now. Johnson running to the left. He's got a hold the 35 at the 30. There he goes. Bullseye. It's a Jordan Johnson touchdown. Hold on, dude. One, two. Oh. And welcome to the Stern Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort, along with head coach Lance Leipold. My name is Paul Peck. The season starts on Friday, Lance. It's the best time of the year. Football is ready to go. Are you ready to go? Absolutely, Paul. It's been a a long three weeks of, of camp, and then now we're ready to get in the game. As we're in game week, we got to get this thing kicked off. I knew the answer to that question. You were probably ready to go about six months ago, weren't you? Yeah, it's especially after the off season, and you know we want to get this thing uh, kicked off the right way. And a Friday night at home is a great way to do it. Friday night uh, at UB Stadium against the Albany Great Danes. The gates to Stampede Square open up at four o'clock. Jared Neiman takes the stage at five. Kickoff between Lance's Bulls and the Great Danes is at seven. You got your first year under your belt of experiencing the home crowd, the atmosphere, the pregame. Are you ready for bigger and better things from Bulls fans this year? Absolutely. I, I think that's the one downside is that we don't get to be out there for the concerts and all the tailgating. We get to get a, a brief time to walk through, but it's a great atmosphere. Our administration's done a great job creating that atmosphere. We're going to take that from the parking lot, put it in the stadium, and get the thing kicked off for an exciting year. Well, it's a little unusual that you'd be opening with the same opponent two years in a row, but that's the case. It's another SUNY showdown between the Bulls and the Albany Great Danes. Last year, Albany opened the season, the first game for Lance as Bulls head coach. It was a 51 to 14 UB victory. What did you kind of learn about your team in that game last year that maybe you'll learn about them again this year? Well, one thing is we want to get off to a little faster start than we did last year, and I, I think that's going to be something we're going to talk about a lot during the season. But again, it, it was a great way to get kicked off the season, playing somebody from in-state. A lot of our players know some of their players, and it's, it's a good way to go with an FCS opponent that it really has a chance to be very explosive in a very competitive conference. Yeah, the Great Danes struggled a little bit last year with only three wins, but we saw them be explosive at times in the game against the Bulls. Do you like opening with an FCS opponent is that is that a good way for you to get a feel for your team and get a game under their belt I think it's a it's a very good option I think it needs if you're going to schedule FCS opponents you you want them within the first couple games sometimes you'll see a school with a formula that maybe do it mid-year but I think it's good for us um, you know when when I was hired for the job, the scheduling philosophy was explained about uh, you know getting a local FCS opponent. I couldn't agree more, and I think it's a good way to get started. Well, that preview of the Bulls and the Great Danes is part of our Town BMW game preview. Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. Well, one of the biggest questions that you had all offseason and certainly all in the preseason was your quarterback situation. And I want you to break down the two players who have been the most focused on the battle for the starting quarterback position. Take me through some of the strengths of each guy, and we'll start with your fifth-year senior transfer from Iowa State in Grant Rohach. Well, I think, first of all, as you said, you say fifth-year senior, graduate transfer, it's experience. He's been through He's been through multiple position coaches and coordinators at his time at Iowa State. So learning something new and coming to us was not 
not a big obstacle for him. He wants to be a coach someday. He's a coach on the field. He understands the offense and protections very well, and he mentors young players extremely well. So he does a lot of things. Um, the other thing I, I think that you'll see him do for us, he'll add something in the run game as, as well as Tyree will. But I think his command, he doesn't get rattled, and those are things that our football team will benefit from. Well, you mentioned Tyree Jackson and his size and his talent jump off the field to you. At 6'7", 245 pounds, he looks like no other quarterback outside of Cam Newton. Um, how much did he get better in the important parts of being a quarterback that go beyond height and weight and arm strength? But Tyree has made nice, nice gains in his, as we go through his game. But and I, and I keep saying he's just you know scratching the tip of the iceberg. He is so talented. He has an extremely strong arm. He's not afraid to use it. He can throw the deep ball. He has good touch in the short game. Again, much like Grant, he's going to add something in in the run game for us. And you mentioned with that height and size, he's physical when he runs. He, I think a stride is over three yards, so you know you're going to be able to gain, keep drives alive with a guy like him when, once he breaks the pocket. First time since 2012 that it hasn't been Joe Licata at quarterback for the Bulls, and one of the big changes that that leads to is what you touched on, the mobility part of it. Watching preseason practices, we saw quarterback rollouts. We saw read option. We saw straight quarterback runs. How big a part of the offense is that going to be? And I know I, I feel like i got to prepare Bulls fans for seeing some things that they just necessarily haven't seen lately. Well, I'm, you know, game by game will dictate what, how much of that we're going to use. But the nice thing is it's going to force defenses to defend us in all areas. And, and with read schemes and option and different things that we're going to incorporate, let alone if, if guys are covered downfield that the, the quarterback can scramble, I just think it's going gonna, it's gonna to make us uh, – you know, a little bit, a little bit more difficult to defend as we go through. And one or two scrambling first downs in a game keeps drives alive, keeps the defense off the field. There's so many trickle down effects in this that's going to help us as we go through this season. That quarterback will only have three returning starters on offense. How big an adjustment has the preseason been in getting all those new guys ready to go? Well, it has been, Paul. But it's in, and we had we had spring, and you've been out at a lot of practices, and we do a lot of two huddles. Um, where we're pretty rapid firing. We're getting a lot of reps in. So our, our first and second string and even some of the guys work with the third unit are getting reps in practice. They're getting opportunities. It's just more getting timing down together as, as we settle on certain units. But guys have experience in what we're doing. Well, there are eight starters returning on the Bulls defense. One of them, a key player from right here in Western New York. You'll meet defensive end Damone Harris when Lance and I return on UB Football Insider from here at the Stern Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort. Buffalo sports fans, don't miss the season opener for UB football. Friday, September 2nd, when the Bulls take on the Great Danes of Albany at 7 p.m. Stampede Square opens at 4 p.m., featuring fun family entertainment and country music star Jared Neiman on the Tailgate Concert Series stage. Fire it up! For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. It's football, tailgating, and live music, so make sure to be counted and get your tickets today. Let's go, Bulls! Tenacity, ambition, purpose. Here, it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. This segment of UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold is brought to you by CEFQ. For all your banking, insurance, and investment needs, visit your local branch or go to cefq.com. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. My name is Paul Peck. We're here at the Stir Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort, and it's time for our CEFQ player profile. Junior defensive end Damone Harris is a Buffalo native who was a standout at Bishop Timon St. Jude High School. He walked on here at UB, and now he's become the leader of one of the Bulls' deepest positions. 
I'm Damone Harris, a junior defensive end on the UB Bulls football team. I came from more of a basketball family. I grew up in a house with three, three other brothers. My coach coming for actually came to me in the offseason and was like, hey, I can turn you into a Division I uh, football player. And I was like, at first I didn't believe him. I was like, there's no way. I've never put on pads before. I just came out in the fall of my junior season with an open mind and he taught me. I grew up here. I wanted my uh, friends and family to be able to come and watch me play. It's amazing to play in your hometown. It's a privilege that not many guys on this team have. And like just to represent Buffalo for what it is, the grit and grind of Buffalo is just is just amazing. I'm honored. So right now, you know, he's he's our starting weak side defense man. You're talking about a guy weighing 260 pounds, benching over 400 pounds. That's his spot to lose. And obviously, uh, I think he he put himself in a situation that he deserving the award yet from a depth chart perspective. I got awarded my scholarship in the summer of 2014. It meant a lot because, I mean, I've always had that in the back of my mind as one of my goals uh, when I came here as a walk-on. When I walked out that office, I called my mom, and she was crying on the phone, so it was it was a great experience. More for her because, like, I told her that if, uh, if you pay for my high school, that I'll pay for my college, and uh, I really fulfilled that promise to her. Shotgun snap to rear and rolls to the right, sets up the screen to the left. Oh, it's intercepted! Picked up by Damone Harris at the 40, at the 45, at the 50, and finally brought down inside the 50 at the Kent State 42. I was so blessed to have that moment. I seen the quarterback look at me, like look my direction, and I seen him pick up the ball, like a throwing motion. As soon as I seen that, I knew it was coming back my way. I just tipped it to myself and, and picked it off. It was just a testament to, to the hard work I put in in the film room, and I just seen the play coming, and uh, it, was just, it just paid off. We had a lot of growing pains last year, but it was nice to see guys like Chris Ford, like Max Parisi really adapt, and. Uh, I know me and Crawford on the edge were doing some good things, and it was just it was just an experience. It's just a, a grind. Eventually, we, we came together, and now we're starting to gel and get used to the system more. UB is very it's becoming a very big part of this city, and uh, I'm just proud to be from here because like I, I never would have thought it would have expanded this much until the the brand it is today. I always expect us to win, win a MAC championship. If you don't expect that, I don't know what we're doing this for. So I always have high expectation for us. Lance Damone is a wonderful college football story. Local kid, not a lot of high school experience, walks on, earns a scholarship, earns a starting spot. Tell me what the next step for him might be this year. I think the sky's the limit for Damone, really what he's, what he's just starting to see in his ability, his confidence. I think it really started around the Kent State game last year. He started making some plays, and he's really tried to take that. Another, just like Jordan Johnson we had talked about on the last show, was that he's another local player who has a lot of pride in being in this program, but they've really taken the extra step in their dedication to perfect their game this summer. If there's one position that you may – use the most players and Bulls fans may see the most guys out there. It's defensive line. Damone is one of 10 guys that you figure to use pretty extensively. That's a, a big step up from where you were a year ago. Yes, and you could say second year within the scheme, understanding our guys, you know, knowing what we expect out of them. And then you've been able to add some through recruiting is that we're going to be able, we like to rotate guys, we're going to be able to rotate. And I think there's going to be guys in for certain downs and distance situations that they can help put pressure on the quarterback. And by rotating that many guys, Paul, you have the opportunity to be fresh in the fourth quarter when you needed to make plays. Yeah, and of course, of those eight starters that we talked about being back on defense, four of them are your four starting defensive linemen, but all those guys are going to come from behind it. You got a couple of new guys at linebacker, a couple of new guys in the secondary. Overall, give me a sense on what the next step is for a defense last year that was exceeded maybe some expectations and particularly in its ability to take the ball away. Yeah, I thought we had a great year taking the ball away last year. We've got to still cut down on explosive plays. I think we'll be better. You know, our safeties are more confident in this scheme than they were a year ago, whether it be Andrews Dadabo, Ryan Williamson, Dev Lamore. Those are just a few that are going to see a lot of time. Cam Lewis moves in that, at the corner spot for Marcus Baker, played a lot, is a very talented young player. The, the spot that we didn't rotate very much last year, as you know, was linebacker. And, I, and our staff feels a lot more confident of where we're at and our players with the depth we have, the return of Jared Franklin. 
I think the emergence of really Ishmael Hargrove and Jordan Collier at our, at our rover position, I think is going to give us that depth that we need to stay fresh on defense. Yeah, and we forget Jar Jarrett Franklin missed all of the season last year, and that would have helped a lot on that depth. But now he comes back, and you add him to the mix with Barry and all the rest of those guys. And, boy, that front seven really looks like they could take a big step up. Do you feel like that's going to happen? Yes, I do. I just think through camp, confidence, the depth that we have, the athleticism that we have up front, it has a chance to be an excellent unit. All right, well, we talked about the defense. We got you all ready for Friday's season opener. But, of course, to really get you ready for the season opener on Friday, we got to get you ready well before kickoff. Lance, thanks. Good luck on Friday night. We're excited to see the season started. But coming up next on Lance Leipold's UB Football Insider, we go through the game day experience to get you ready for Friday night. This is UB Football Insider from the Stern Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort. Buffalo sports fans, don't miss the season opener for UB football. Friday, September 2nd, when the Bulls take on the Great Danes of Albany at 7 p.m. Stampede Square opens at 4 p.m., featuring fun family entertainment and country music star Jared Neiman on the Tailgate Concert Series stage. Fire it up! For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. It's football, tailgating, and live music, so make sure to be counted and get your tickets today. Let's go, Bulls! Support the new Football Excellence Fund and help build a strong foundation for years to come. Go above and beyond by investing in the future of UB football today. Log on to BullsBlueAndWhite.com for more information and a list of Football Excellence Fund benefits. This segment of UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold is brought to you by Ficta, Endel, and Elmer Eye Care, focused on you. Welcome back to UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold from here at the Stern Nightclub inside the Seneca Niagara Resort. It all gets started on Friday when the Bulls host the Albany Great Danes in the season opener. The gates to Stampede Square open at 4 o'clock on Friday. Jared Neiman takes the concert stage at 5 and of course kickoff comes up at 7 o'clock. Bulls fans already know this, but it's always good to be reminded it's all about game day. It's amazing here. The energy at, at uh, UB is incredible. And everyone's just having a good time. Everyone's here to just have fun and root on the Bulls. It's good for the kids. It's good for everyone. Just to relate to something, just to have a reason, to have a cause to support, you know, like UB. I am a proud UB football parent. All of us parents get together every game. Your child needs to know you're there so that they can feel encouraged, so they can get out there and actually go get a win. Let's go, Buffalo! I like football, I like the school. I, I grew up in Buffalo, so gotta come out. They bring in awesome acts every year for these concert tailgate series, and they've got some more coming. We need everybody to bring the energy right here from this parking lot inside the UB Stadium. Help us get this thing kicked off the right way. So can you do that for us, please? Five more home games following the season opener on Friday. We'll give you a preview of all of them, plus run through the acts on the Stampede Square concert stage when UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold continues right after this. Buffalo sports fans, don't miss the season opener for UB football. Friday, September 2nd, when the Bulls take on the Great Danes of Albany at 7 p.m. Stampede Square opens at 4 p.m., featuring fun family entertainment and country music star Jared Neiman on the Tailgate Concert Series stage. Fire it up! For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. It's football, tailgating, and live music, so make sure to be counted and get your tickets today. Let's go, Bulls! To 
tenacity, ambition, purpose. Here, it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. Get out to UB Stadium this fall and be counted for the 2016 Bulls football season. The excitement begins three hours before kickoff in Stampede Square with plenty of family fun and of course the tailgate concert series presented by the Seneca Niagara Resort. It begins on Friday, September 2nd when country star Jared Neiman takes the stage at 5 o'clock. Then it's a primetime college football kickoff as your UB Bulls host the Albany Great Danes at 7 p.m. The Bulls return to UB Stadium on September 24th to face the Black Knights of Army. David Nail headlines the concert stage two hours before kickoff. October 8th is homecoming at UB Stadium as the Bulls begin their Mid-American Conference schedule against the Kent State Golden Flashes. Kickoff is at 3.30 and rock legend Eddie Money takes the stage at 1.30. Ball State comes to town on October 15th for their first matchup with the Bulls since 2011. Make sure you arrive early to catch country sensation Brothers Osborne on the concert stage. October 27th brings midweek Maction to UB Stadium. Chris Lane gets things going in Stampede Square at 5.30. Then at 7.30, the Bulls kick off against conference rival Akron. The Bulls close out their 2016 home schedule on November 12th when they host the Miami Red Hawks. But make sure you're there early to catch local sensation Nerds Gone Wild. Be counted for the 2016 Bulls season. For more information and tickets, it's ubbulls.com. So don't forget, it all gets started on Friday night when the Bulls open the season at UB Stadium. The gates to Stampede Square open up at 4. Country music standout Jared Neiman takes the concert stage at 5. Kickoff between the Bulls and the Albany Great Danes is at 7. Make sure you're there. We'd love to see you at UB Stadium. But we'll definitely see you on next week's UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold.